this is the most unexpected thing that I've seen here at MWC 2024. I am of course talking about the Techno Pocket Go, which is a gaming console in the form factor of a controller. So sobrang hype na ho makita yung device na to because usually pag pumunta kami Barcelona for MWC, puro smartphones yung nakita namin or yung na-excite kami, puro smartphone lang. And this coming from Techno, entering the PC Master Race was really out of left field. So when I saw this device, I was super surprised and super stoked, especially when I got to try it out. So it's actually hard to show you guys gameplay footage from this thing because its main display are its AR glasses. Now, yung product tech from Techno said that it will actually come as a bundle, yung console at yung glasses all together. Now, the glasses, I really love it because I'm a Tito. I wear actual glasses and you can actually uh, adjust each lens so that your grade won't affect it. So it won't affect your gameplay. Everything was clear and smooth. So they're saying that the glasses themselves can mimic a 220-inch display. So yung sinab sa short sa 100 inches lang siya apparently was wrong. So it's 220 according to the tech that I talked to. And that's from a distance of 6 meters. Or at least that's what they're trying to simulate. But from what I was able to try out the short amount of time that I was able to try out the Techno Pocket Go, malino naman siya and very, very impressive. Now, as for the audio aspect, yung speakers nasa glasses na rin. Hindi siya bone conduction. There's actually down-firing speakers on either side of your ears. Now, I wasn't really able to test out its full capability since maingay sa floor dito sa MWC. So, I'm actually excited to try this out. Pero hindi pa sila ready to go to market as of the moment. But let me talk about the specs of the console itself. And the great thing about this is it's actually rocking some powerful hardware. You have a Ryzen 7 8000 series chip. I think it's the 8840HS, 16 gigabytes of RAM and one terabyte. As for the operating system, they said this is Windows based, but I wasn't able to really get into the OS. They just had it straight into the game itself. So I'm assuming that you will be able to run Steam, um, your Game Pass, hopefully on the Pocket Go. As for initial impressions about its performance, I can only say that it was pretty impressive to see Cyberpunk 2077 run very, very smooth. At least a lot better than what I'm used to running on my Steam Deck, which is about 30 to 45 FPS. This was closer to 60, uh, and the tech that I was with said it was gonna be running around that range as well. But I wasn't able to go to settings to see uh, like what the graphic settings on the game really was. But again, pretty impressive on something that, that's it's basically a first go for Techno for this one. They also have a 50 watt hour battery. And the great thing about this, if you saw the mga shorts that we know, is it's actually swappable. So you can remove it and then get another one that's fully charged and just plug it in, which is great to have. So I don't have to contend with those really, really heavy power banks that I usually bring with me when I play my Steam Deck and I'm expecting to be on the go most of the time. As far as ergonomics are concerned, you can see the button layout is closer to an Xbox controller. As for the weight, I would say it's in between the Legion Go and the Steam Deck, or about the same weight as the Steam Deck, I would say. But all the components are all in one. So you have the processor, the battery, the coolers and everything in just that controller. So expect it to be a lot heavier than your traditional Xbox controller. But it felt great in the hand. I just don't know how long you'll be able to play this. But you will be playing the sitting down anyway since you are going to be wearing AR glasses. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are going to be curious about the price tag of the Techno Pocket Go. Unfortunately, sabi sa akin ng Techno nandun, hindi pa sila ready to release the price. They say give it one or two months before they give an official price tag on this thing. But again, I'm very excited to see this because again, very left, out of left field, very unexpected though from Techno to give us a gaming console because we're used to seeing them with smartphones and new concentration la is mostly on mobile games so for them to enter the pc master race was a big surprise to see here at mwc 2024 anyway if you want to learn more about this device i will leave a link down below to our article on our website but yeah tell us what you think about this new release from techno are you guys impressed is it something you're curious to see 
do you want it to enter the Philippine market? Let me know in the comments down below. Like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. My name is Ethan James. Peace, God bless, and we'll see more of you here at MWC 2024.